I think this might be good. Fuck! God damn it. So right off the bat, we're up against our arch nemesis, Azir Aurelia. Uh, <clears throat> not too confident in this matchup. Stig an onlooker, as a turn 1 attack, and as a blocker. I think it might be worth it. We're attacking on turn 1, we don't really have other turn 1 plays. I could keep Miss Wraith. Although I think I, I'd want my turn 3 play. I think pushing 1 damage in turn 1 is acceptable. And if he trades here, that's also good for me, I think. It also serves as a blocker and we can copy it with fading memories. I can learn from watching you. So we just go with the Elise. Straightforward here. He probably doesn't attack with the sparring student this way. And it's a good news that he doesn't have Emperor's Days. <clears throat> you could actually fading memories into onto dusk. I'm gonna push a lot of damage, but I think I'd rather use the <laughs> onto dusk on the doom beast, right? So I just attack like this. He's probably gonna defend with the sparring student over here. <clears throat> we get to inflict. Oh, Kalista might actually level up fast here. If he can get the Stygian Onlooker and maybe some more units to die. So he's gonna attack once with the Flores Do it. I need to reserve a defender for the Sparring Student, which should be my Stygian Onlooker. I'm thinking if I should Fading Memories and Doom Beast here. Probably later when we take some damage. The Greedly Duo is a problem for sure. He will use Flawless Do It first. So I'm gonna let him deal damage before I use my Doom Beast. I'm gonna block the Sparring Student with my Stygian on lower. Oh! He actually doesn't use Flawless Do It. That's amazing. Why doesn't he use Flawless Do It first? That's weird. What? Get to draw two more cards. Nice. Oh. Is it time? We can't get the Elise level up though. Oh, this will just be a useless card in our hand. Next turn we're gonna have 7 mana or 6 mana. I don't have good good targets for Fading Memory so I might not be able to activate the Beast. And I think I want to use Fading Memories on the Doom Beast. Okay, let's just try to get the Kalista level up here. If he uses Flawless Do It, it's gonna be an easy trigger for us. Oh, that's fine. Hope if I down. He, he doesn't get to use the Flawless Do It. That's. That is worth it. Wow, if he goes down to. He's gonna be in dangerous, te dangerous territory here if he doesn't have fearsome blockers. He goes down to 6 HP. That's dangerous territory for him. He needed to do that. I can Kalista first. It's good if Kalista sees the deaths immediately next turn. And I think we will have enough heal with our multiple onto dusks here. Mm. Kyrian! Kyrian will carry us next turn. Oh my god. Oh fuck the rain. Gotta close my windows. Kyrian will carry us next turn. So hard. I think we have enough heal here to hold the line. It's such a weird attack. Such a weird attack.
Just gonna use the second Doom Beast. We can slowly. I think we got him. We have double. Double unto dusk. And fading memories. He doesn't have fearsome blockers once again. I think we got him. That's crazy. That's crazy. You have enough mana to literally kill him this turn. He needs to deny. Yeah, we got him. GG. I should have enough mana to kill him this turn. Then we just use double onto dusk. It's over. Oh my god. The fearsome dude. <laughs> GG. Doom Beast for the win. Hey, this card aggro might be a different story here. Turn to Elise, turn three horror. Ah, oh, that's great. <gasps> we have the turn four Kyrian, but we need to save mana in order to do that. I think it stick in on Lohar and turn one is worth it here. It's a chump block, um, 2 damage is good. Double double. Um, Elise will be a very nice defender against, uh, against this attack. Could put down Draven here so it might be in my best interest to just open attack now. We're looking at turn 5 with the... Kyrian Sump Worker, probably. Or, or maybe we don't even use the Kyrian Sump Worker. We could use the Iterative Improvement from the Doom Beast. I think it might be a bit better to Arachnoid Horror. If he puts Doubt Draven here, he probably won't want to defend against the Arachnoid Horror, right? We're inflicting 3 damage that way, whereas if we attack with the Elise, we're inflicting only 2 damage because he'll probably block with the Spider... with, with the Spiderling with his House Spider. Nice. Time for the main event. So now he's taking 3 more damage unless he trades his Draven. Which is good for us. Nice. I could also consider using Iterative on the House Spider in order to develop my Elise. Okay. I must be careful of Vision or something. I think iterative into house spider seems good here. I'll do better this time. Maybe he doesn't even notice that they at least will level up. I mean, I, I'm fine to take all of these trades. He might be holding a Poro Cannon into Vision. Okay. I think I'm fine with this. He, tr he trades away his whole board. I'm still relatively healthy. I could go for either a spider or a doom beast. I think I'm going for the doom beast. Or not, I'm going for the spider. Let's surprise him with the doom beast burn later. Okay, so we just attack with you. Call it a day. He damaged the face. I have drains. I freaking have drains. Can't get so complacent against me. Ah, double onto dusk. Can you guys already imagine the drains that will happen? Right now I have 6 damage to his face. And I can heal for 6. That's crazy. Crowd favorite? Um, I can absorb some damage. If he's spinning access on the scrap scuttler, that's fine, right? 
The Draven is the problem. We can't do anything against the Draven. Okay. Sure. No problem. Um, there's a chance he might have a Jinx in hand. And he's trying to level it up. It's weird that he didn't put a uh, Spinning Axe on Draven. In order to level it up. So that must probably mean that the Jinx here is valuable. That the, his last card is valuable because he didn't want to discard it. Nice. He's in a little bit of trouble here. What's the worst that could happen? That's fine. Okay. Let's hope he doesn't get anything good out of that. Down to six. Where's my axe? Mm-hmm. I just pass. Ah, that's good. Fucking good. Don't I just secure though in this way? No, I think I need to play it safe. I need to defend somewhere. Yeah, this looks good. He's down to 4 HP. I I'm just scared of another Whirling Death. He could Whirling Death with my defender, right? Then get a face attack with crowd favorite. Nice. Meanwhile, his Draven is not yet leveled up. And he needs some fearsome defenders here. He wants to live. Jinx is a fearsome defender. I only have one card left though. I hope he can't level up Jinx. He probably can. He just needs to use one card and discard the other with Spinning Axe. Worst case scenario, it's a rummage. He activates the rocket this turn and then activates it next turn again. Oh! Okay. Everyone goes boom. What? He made a miss. That was a fucking misplay, in my opinion. That was such a big misplay, I think. That's such a big misplay. He's gonna be put in a position where he needs to defend with both. Suddenly we're good. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, he needs to defend here. Which is great for us. Especially since we know that this allegiance will hit. He needs to defend with both the Draven and the Jinx. It's a top deck war. It's now a top deck war. My beautiful face. Battle of the top decks. Oh, nice. That's a good one. Oh, oh, that, I think we won. I think we got him. He can't kill me this turn. Bang, bang, bang. I probably should have attacked last turn with the uh, Wraith Caller. The worst case scenario if he summons a fearsome blocker and then I don't get an allegiance with Wraith Caller. Nice. Oh my god. Got him. <laughs> I took that risk unnecessarily. I think I, I should have just attacked with the Kalista. Yeah, I should have just attacked. I, I threw that unnecessarily. But the, um, having the Doom Beast package is great against all the aggro decks running around. Okay, Spider Aggro. The Doom Beast will, shall be crucial again here. 
I'm keeping one Doom Beast, I guess. The drain is crucial, right? And once again, it's turn one. Sometimes, guys, you just have to commit the Stygian on Looker on turn one. Not all the time, though. But I think in this case, it's okay. Again, it's a chump block, and we're most likely inflicting two damage to his face. We, we would want to use the Stygian Onlooker as a defender against that Legion Rear God next turn anyway, right? Prison Myths. No one's the wiser. Okay. We have the exact defender we need against the Legion Saboteur. But that's nice. Perfect. We also have some pretty nice Fading Memories targets here. But the thing is, next turn, I think we just open attack. We don't have other plays. Yeah, we just open attack. Out from the we do have double fading memories, so inflicting every damage on his nexus is pretty crucial here. We can drain a lot. Reporting in. For the Empire. Okay. That's cool. Make the Empire proud. Mm, okay, I think I'd rather Fading Memories my Doom Beast, although Imperial Demolition is just not a bad Fading Memories target. Oh. Come closer. We could Risen Miss into Doom Beast, is that the best? Because right now our defenders suck against his units. I'm just scared of committing something like... I, th I think we just... Imperial... Let's pass first. Let's see if he attacks. I have a feeling he will develop one more. Blast him. Hush <clears throat> now. Hush now. <clears throat> so young. So right now we can start using Doom Beast. <clears throat> the drains are big, guys. And we get to inflict some more damage with Risen Myths. Oh, that's huge! This is fucking huge. He doesn't have fearsome defenders. Out from the darkness. I might just be able to finish him off here. I have Fading Memories on Doom Beast. I have double Fading Memories and one on Two Dusk. Yeah, it's GG. It's GG! What does he do? I literally have 6 damage in hand. I have 6 face damage. Oh! So that's how he counters us. <laughs> he, he has the counter, guys. He has the counter. You have a fearsome, fearsome attacker. I have my own. You have an ephemeral attacker. I have. Oh my god, that's bad. This might be the best way to prevent damage. We can tank the four damage and kill his, kill his fearsome def fearsome blockers. Okay, I think we got him. I think we got him. Yeah, we got him for sure. GG! I still have onto Dusk, by the way. He needs to... Yeah, he needs to do that. Oh, that's not worth it for him. Not worth it for him, for sure. Ah. <laughs> GG, this is GG. I, I don't know if I've ever seen anything more GG than this. He needs his own Doom Beast in order to survive.
How will he kill? GG. Easiest game of my life. Easiest climb of my life. Okay, let's look. Uh, let's look if we can outspeed um, Irelia here again. Yeah, we still lost. Nothing we can do here. I think. GG. Almost. We almost got him. I'm not too. I'm not too mad at that. This is the best deck in the game right now, and we we beat it once already, and we it was very close. The the second game was very close. Um, so this is the Cethria Matron deck. Oh yes, Matron! Bad! The Kalista version is scary, dude. I'm now a believer. Gets a double everything again next... Good game. I'm gonna let him hit my Nexus. He did a good job. 208?! I have to try the Kalista version. This version seems super fun. 208 damage! Negative 208? That's no way to treat your queen. <laughs> um again severe and the blank. I really want other two drops. I think Elise is uh, a bit better. Just have to go for this again. I think we're going to use it as a blocker next turn anyway. Yeah. Get to deal two damage. I'm regretting it a bit now, not keeping the Miss Wraith there. Oh, I should have attacked with the Stygian too. My bad. I should have attacked with the Stygian too. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, this is why I didn't. I need it as a blocker against the Reckless Trifarian. Trifarian! So, depending on what he does, we can go for the Fearsome Strat or the Non-Fearsome Strat. Guess we're not going for the Fearsome Strat. Because he has lots of Fearsome... Oh, we, we could go. If we eliminate the Trifarian hopeful, we could go for the fearsome strat. <laughs> I think this might be good. Fuck! God damn it. Now it's not good. Now it's bad. That's really bad. <laughs> Shit. Inflicting this 3 damage is still a big deal for us. So we either have Kyrian or Iterative Improvement. That's fine. I have my drains, guys. I have my drains. Not too worried. Fucking Kyrian. Oh my, Kyrian might win us the game. Hold up. Hold up, hold up. Kyrian could actually win us the game. Or not, because we're just gonna use it as a blocker. Cut him down. Cut him down. Yeah, we're just gonna use it as a blocker, probably. Nah, you don't have double shape stone. No way. Okay. So we do have a uh, things that we can do here. Nothing 
He's put in a position here where he needs to defend against our fearsomes. He has two fearsome blockers so far. Wealth is merely a foolish distraction, my dear. Then come Could use Guile if I go for more. I think I go now. I have a feeling I should have gone for the fading memories into the Stygian onlookers. But whatever. I really like having the drain and we he doesn't have overwhelm overwhelm blockers for us. Yeah, I think we got him. Got him. Yeah, we got him. For sure. Well, not for sure, but let's see. The might would be scariest thing. Right yeah, we should get, we should get him. We should get him, right? Victory GG. Requires a sharp blade. Four in one. You went four in one in this run. Nice, but we did get to showcase the Kyrian. It's just a Doom Beast show. <laughs>